Hi everyone, Kelly Callahan, VP of Marketing here at Algorand. I am fortunate to sit down today with Claudio Parnello, who's the CEO and founder of Planet Watch. It's been a while since we've chatted with Claudio. They've got a lot going on at Planet Watch. I know I've had some interactions and been able to purchase a sensor recently that I'm really excited about. So I'm thrilled to sit down and just get an update from Claudio on what's going on at Planet Watch. Claudio, before we get started, um, can you give us a little bit of background on Planet Watch, just so that uh, if, if Planet Watch is new to anyone, they've got a little bit of context for Planet Watch and what you're doing. So, uh, in a sentence, I would say that Planet Watch has the ambition to build a green data economy. What does it mean? It means that in order to manage our planet correctly and our resources in a sustainable manner, we need to monitor a number of parameters about the, 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 the Earth itself. Uh, in particular, air quality monitoring is a critical parameter to, to make a sustainable future for ourselves and our children. And uh, we want to engage uh, all the people in the world in a global decentralized environmental monitoring effort and get them to earn rewards for participating in this effort. So it's about data, it's about big data, it's about keeping the planet as green as possible, and it's about giving also incentives to people to participate. Excellent. And all that data you're leveraging blockchain for, we'll get into that in a minute. What's, Claudio, can you give us a little bit of your background and how you ended up here? I was originally a researcher in particle physics. I, I had a kind of an academic career until the turn of last century, I would say. And then I moved, I got interested into business, generally speaking, and into technology. And so I first founded a small consulting firm. I did some international consulting for a few years. Then later on, I joined CERN in Geneva. CERN is the largest physics research center in the world and the place where the web was created, incidentally. Spent a few years there. I was in charge of technology transfer. And then I set up my first startup in France. And again, sensors, robotics, and stuff like that. Then I got interested uh, in blockchain, and uh, since a few years I've been in the blockchain ecosphere. And last year I managed to put together two of my main passions, which were blockchain and the, and the environment, uh, and that that were married together into Planet Watch. That's excellent. So you had a little bit of background on blockchain coming into this. Can you uh, can you share how Planet Watch? You know, you mentioned the big data earlier. How Planet Watch is really leveraging blockchain and why blockchain makes sense over anything else that's out there. The use case for blockchain in the Planet Watch compass is a uh, twofold or threefold, maybe. So first of all, we leverage the blockchain as an immutable, tamper-proof, tamper-proof ledger to build the global uh, repository for environmental data for the planet. So we are building a, we are writing air quality data on the algorithm blockchain so that they are safe there and can, they can be used later on by researchers and other people. So it's a ledger. It's also a way to track and reward all contributions to our ecosystem because uh, people stream data to, to our platform from, from their sensors when each data stream is uh, rewarded with a planet tokens. So of course, uh, the algorithm blockchain is instrumental in to create this algorithm standard asset that we call planet, issue the planet and, and reward all contributions. And you, and how, there's a lot of blockchains out there. Can you walk us through how you ended up selecting Algorand? Of course, we are uh, doing an awful lot of transactions because we handle an awful lot of data streams. So we needed a blockchain with a very high, uh, very high throughput, very the possibility to do thousands of transactions per second, and that's algorithm, and very low transaction fees, and that's algorithm again. Then we wanted the, the green blockchain, and again, algorithm uh, with its uh, pure proof of uh, stake technology is very green in that respect. There is no POW electricity burning. So it's green, it's fast, it's decentralized, it's secure, it's just perfect. And environmentally friendly. That's great. You hit on that. Um, the uh, you you've you've recently gotten a lot of sensors out there in the world. Can you share anything in terms of uh, adoption to date um, with the sensors and and what sort of data you're seeing and who's accessing it? Yes. Uh, so far, we have about 250 plus sensors installed, but we have a, a quite a long pipeline of over 300 sensors coming up soon. Uh, we are getting a lot of uh, 
attracted a lot of interest. We are uh, uh, looking forward to keeping up with logistics because there is very high sensor demand and we are uh, working on sensors. We're going to release our own sensor at some point. So, and one, one challenge that we, we will not just onboard any sensor in the world, we will we test and certify internally each sensor that we connect to PlanetWatch. So we have some quality standards and we try to arbitrate between keeping the quality standards and keeping the process seamless and, and getting all the people on board. And, and do you ha are you working with, uh, do you know who's accessing the data that's on the blockchain that's streaming and coming in right now so far? Have you, do you have any data on that? Uh, so far, uh, we have quite a bit of traffic on the, on the website. It's uh, consumer world, worldwide uh, so far. Uh, in fact, we are, uh, we are discussing uh, R&D agreements with some universities, and um, there are also both corporate potential users and academic users which, who are interested to leverage our data. This is, this is all coming in the coming months. That's excellent. That's really exciting. Congratulations on that work. This is, I think, what's most interesting about this is that you know it's something that you you can't really imagine having been possible without blockchain, right? Like you needed to create that sort of frictionless exchange of data and value, and people pouring things into it, and people being able to extract things out, and uh, the transparency and the the openness of a public blockchain really lets that happen. So I think this is a really exciting uh, use case. What um, can you talk about any recent news? What's the latest from Planet Watch? I know you've seen a lot of um, a lot of adoption. Can you talk about any other uh, major news and then what's coming? Uh, yes, I can say something. I will not say the whole story. <laughs> it's a bit too early. So uh, we have two big pieces of news coming up. One is the partnership with a major U.S. company, which will help us uh, speed up adoption in. Uh, well, in Europe to begin with, and then in other regions of the world, including the U.S. So this will be announced, uh, yeah, fairly soon, I believe. Uh, well, the second thing, the second highlight that I want to talk about is uh, that we introduced uh, crypto payments on our online e-commerce, and uh, it was very, it was great to leverage synergies with other partners in the algorithmic system, uh, Bloomy Pay for the, the payment engine, uh, Monerium and uh, well, our grant itself. So at this point, people can buy our sensor with cryptos and they can leverage the algo itself, uh, stable coins on the Algorand blockchain, the euro on the Algorand blockchain, and soon that would, that would include also our own token, obviously, Planet. So that was a great, uh, great milestone, I believe, for us. I, I'm glad you brought that up because I recently got to go through and purchase uh, my sensor with USDC, which was super exciting um, and uh, incredibly easy, incredibly smooth in terms of checkout. You go straight from your wallet with USDC in it, straight to the Bloomy Pay, um, the, the e-com uh, payment processing system that you have on Planet Watch. That's great. Uh, and you're shipping to the US. Where, where all are you shipping right now for sensors? Yeah, at the moment we are we are serving the U.S. and Europe. We are uh, looking for some certification uh, compliance issues uh, for Asia, and as soon as we are ready, we'll be shipping to Asia as well, obviously. Yeah, uh, but shipping to the U.S. is a new thing for you guys, right? Oh uh, yeah, we've been shipping for a few weeks now. So there is okay. only one product we can ship to the U.S. for the time being, but we are working to enlarge the, the product suite uh, in compliance with FCC and all the U.S. regulations. Great. And are you still, are, are you working with some of the larger cities in Europe to sort of do this on a public level where it's uh, in addition to the individuals, you've got cities and governments that are sort of helping to, to create this database and this, this air quality initiative? Yes, I mean, we're talking to a number of uh, city administrators. As you can guess, sometimes people go faster than politics. So <laughs> we've been able to deploy in a number of cities thanks to our direct collaboration with local communities. So we, we got the network up and running, and in parallel we are discussing with uh, the politicians and all the, and the rulers, and uh, at some point I think they will start looking into our data and uh, leveraging them. So we, we, are, we are talking about, we are doing before talking, as I, I could say so. We are getting it Great. done before 
Great. Signed. I'm sure. I'm sure accepting crypto payments uh, will help uh, speed up the ability of getting uh, sensors into people's hands. I guess uh, you know. Lastly, what's um, you talked about the token a little bit. What's there's a Planet Watch token. Can you just share a little bit more about that? Because I think I think if you have a sensor, you earn rewards via the the Planet Watch token. Can you just share a little bit more on that? Yeah, that, uh, the idea is that tokens are issued as rewards for data. So tokens for data. So you own a you own a sensor. You connect to the Planet Watch network. You start uh, streaming data to to Planet Watch and you get tokens in return. The token is a utility. Token is used as an Android and standard asset, as I said. And the big news, which I can anticipate, but I will not give you all the details right now, is that we, uh, I think we'll be able, maybe before the end of next week, to disclose the fact that the token should be listed on one of the one among the top ten exchanges in the world. I would say I will not I will not say which one today because we are still finalizing negotiation. But it should be, it should be listed. Um, on a, on a big platform, and it should be listed fairly soon. But let me let me ink the deal, and then I'll get back to this. Congratulations! That's very exciting, and we'll be sure to to stay on the lookout for that. Um, and to close us off, Claudio, what's where do you see Planet Watch a couple of years down the road? And you know, if you can lean in on on how how blockchain plays a role in that, I think that a lot of our viewers would be keen to to get your perspective on that. The environmental use case. Planet Watch, the Algorand blockchain, what happens over the next couple of years? I think the blockchain is the, the technology backbone infrastructure that enables people to participate in community projects, in large community process in a very transparent and seamless way and getting fair rewards for what they do. That's, that's the backbone, that's what the black blockchain does for us. As for Planet Watch, the ambition is to become a reference for environmental data so that when people uh, don't trust some sources of data which come perhaps from some yeah some source they don't trust or when data are not extensive enough on the status quo they will call in planet watch to to encourage us to, to monitor the environment to release data and to improve the coverage of a region where maybe there are some environmental issues which are not which have not been studied so we want to become a reference for environmental monitoring worldwide that is that's super exciting. Awesome. Well, this has been great, Claudio. I really appreciate you giving us a quick update on Planet Watch. Anything else you want to share? Uh, well, I want to share my enthusiasm. I hope the well, I hope this uh, very strange period will come to an end. The pandemic will come to an end, and I think the hard lesson we all learn is that we have to look after our environment, our own health and safety. So we will be more attentive to environmental issues at large. And um, I think Planet Watch makes sense at this point, even more than before, perhaps. Agreed. Agreed. I think that's very insightful. And we will keep an eye out for all your big announcements. Thank you so much, Claudio. Talk soon.